Even the Aggies were a new quarterback under Jimbo. They showed great balance. I think that they're going to win this game. I got the Aggies. Aggies offense is too, too deep. I mean, they, I, I think they had three turnovers last week and still scored like 47 points. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. it's Texas A&M. Who do you think? A&M. Yeah, and He's got A&M. A&M. You got Colorado. Yeah, I changed it pregame. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, was, I was worried about the altitude, and then I was like, wait, the altitude's not that not bad. That These kids are I'll, 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 go, with, I'll yeah. go with his Texas A&M. Texas A&M. <laughs> yeah, yeah I, I think they were off. To, you're right, Ashton. They were off to a slow start, turning the ball over. They got it going, though, in the second half. I'm going to go. I, I think Jimbo's offense too much for Colorado. Another old Big 12 meeting, Texas and Arkansas tonight. We, we highlighted this game. Hogs might have something for really have. I think this is the coin flip. It depends on which quarterback do you think won't make a mistake. I'm thinking Hudson Card is not going to make a big mistake. So I'm going to go Longhorns. This is a pick from my boy Matthew. Boy Matthew. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> <laughs> Buck em, baby. <laughs> it's the horns. Okay, okay. Matthew, Matthew. Welcome, 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 welcome. Texas. All right, all right, all right. All right, all right. <laughs> this is a sneaky, <laughs> difficult game. If really I had is. any guts at all, I would pick Arkansas here. They were sleepwalking a week ago. Looks like an easy win. This is going to be a battle yep. for Texas on the road. Uh, we're going to find out how good they are. I'll go with Texas, but it's going to oh, be so close. So you don't have any guts I, at all? I don't have any guts on that one. I do. Oh, Bear and I speaking of horns, <laughs> yeah. 80%. Whoa. Bear and I are on the hog. Bear's yeah. loving yeah. that. That's a good Bear's pick. loving That's it. A good pick. What about Washington, Michigan tonight on ABC? No, I tell no. you what, Washington's going to come in Ann Arbor with an attitude. They're going to play like the heroes on fire. I'm not sure if the quarterback is going to be able to be as effective as he needs to be on the road. A yellow, a maze out in Ann Arbor. So I'm going to go with Michigan in a close one. There's all this talk about Washington's loss last week, but that team they played is a good team, mm -hmm. and it's always a good team, and they're a legit team, but. I think Michigan's got it. I think they got the edge. And while I hate to ever root for Michigan, <laughs> I think Michigan's winning this game. What do you got say there? What do you say there? Michigan. I say Michigan. Michigan, good pick. He's How about him breaking down? Ask him breaking down FCS football. I love this, man. I mean, my man follows football Locked in here. on the Grizz. Yeah, yeah. 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 Washington self-destructed last week against Montana. Minus three turnover margin. Dylan Morris will play better today. And I think the Washington defense, very underrated. They'll give Michigan a battle. It's another one. If I had it, I would pick it. No. But I'm going to pick Michigan close. Good pick. And then Oregon and Ohio State. Ducks without a couple of key defenders. Two weeks ago. It was the quack attack. I thought the Ducks would pull off the upset. Now they're missing Thibodeau. They're missing Justin Flo. Such a huge part of defense is missing. Ohio State big over Oregon today. Ducks are not winning in Columbus. No. Yeah. They're not winning in Columbus. I got Ohio State. Hey, that's a nice pick, man. Nice pick. And Oregon is 0-9 against Buckeyes. Make it 0-10. That's Buckeyes. a nice pick. That's nice pick. A nice <laughs> pick by That's him. a really nice pick. He turned it Finally. on you. Finally. Yeah, I think C.J. Stroud, Chris Olave on the outside on one side, Garrett Wilson on the other. Don't forget big Jeremy Ruckert, the tight end. He'll be a tough matchup for them as well. And then the freshman will get his chances, Travion Henderson. Just too much firepower. Don't be surprised Oregon's offense will score on this Ohio State defense, but the Buckeyes are just too much offense. No Thibodeau, no flow, and we'll see what happens there. But meanwhile, in names this afternoon, Iowa and Iowa State, the Cyclones, have won six straight at Jack Price Stadium. That is one short of the school record. One short, one win against Iowa is what they covet the most. You feel the importance of this rivalry. It's a tale of two cities. Young people grow up on one side of the table or the other. This is a tradition, right, the Cy Hawk game. From the first snap to the last, it's going to be a dog fight. Trophy belongs to the Hawkeyes. Being at home, holding the trophy up, it'll prove what we've expected. It's something that's rented. It's not owned. Rent's due on Saturday. All right, everybody's getting geared up. Here's the moment that's coming. No pick from Kirk. He's calling the game. Who wins? I like Iowa State in this game. I think they're going to create turnovers, something that's been missing in the last five games. So I'm going Cyclones because of their defense creating turnovers today. Go Cyclones. Think about it. Think about it. All right. <laughs> Here's the deal. All right. I, 
I am I am a fully inclined Iowa Hawkeye football fan. Okay. I will be rooting for the Iowa Hawkeyes for the entire game. Okay. Make that clear. Kurt Ferentz yep. has never lost to Campbell. Never. Never. <laughs> One point. Parker is a massively underrated defensive coordinator. Mm -hmm. The Iowa Hawkeyes have been in the top 20 in defense for the last six years straight. Yep. Okay? Yep. The Iowa Hawkeyes have had 23 straight games yeah. of holding the other team to under 24 points. Mm -hmm. And when Iowa State is held to under 24 points, they're 2 and 12. Mm. Mm. I'm taking the bomb at center to be driving it up the middle with Goodwin all day long. <laughs> and I'm taking the Iowa guys to win this football game all day long. <laughs> A heater, some passion. Oh, hey, this is the Cyhawk Series Cup. Okay, it's 31 inches tall and weighs 19 pounds. It's beautiful. It's, it's really big. <laughs> I wanted to show it to the Iowa State fans because they haven't seen it in a while. Take a real good look at it, oh, you're because I was one of the five right here. It's, I, it's State's turn to win it. Yeah, I was... Forget about it. Hawkeyes and upset. Oh. Yeah! Yeah! Oh. That's what I'm talking about! <laughs> Great pick! Great pick! Great <laughs> pick! <laughs> These great fans here. Thank you, Nelson. It was a real treat to have you on. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.